Okay, so let's look at how we can use StatCrunch to help us um, determine explained variation versus unexplained and also a prediction interval. So here we are inside of um, StatLab. And what we have is court income versus justice salary. I want to explore this to see if there's some, uh, if we can predict for a given income what the salary would be for a particular justice or for, uh, for, well, for a particular justice. So if I say let's open this up in StatCrunch, um, we'll get court income and that court income, right? And the units that we're looking at is in um, thousands. And for a justice and then to predict the salary, we're also, those would also be in thousands. So um, for one particular court, if the court income was 69,000, the justice salary was 626,000. For if the court income was 31,000, the justice um, justice's salary was twenty two thousand. So let's look at this right here. Um, look at the linear regression model. And the x variable is court income. The y variable is justice salary. Um, we're not going to do a hypothesis test, so we're not concerned about that or this particular confidence interval for an x or a y value. What we're going to do is predict a y for a given x. And so this, the input that we're looking at is um, an input of, um, of 800 or 800,000. And so if I put that value in of 800 or 800,000, right, for court income, I want to be able to predict what the salary is of a justice within some interval. So this is a prediction interval. Um, and let's see what we get from this. So I have an 800, that's and it's a 99% confidence interval or prediction interval is what that is. So that's enough. We're not gonna do anything with the hypothesis tests. Um, and we're going to go ahead and compute that and see what we come up with. And so what this suggests is that we have an R squared value of 0.7155. Um, and we can see that the explained variation from our model is at 29.82. And the unexplained is 11.85 and the total is 41.68. So if you take the explained 29.82, and divide it by the 4168, you'll get your R squared value, right? So that says it's about 71. So let's say that that's on the order of 3,000. That's on the order of 4,000. Um, three over four would be 75. This is under three. So this is going to be less than 75%. So this number makes sense for R squared. And then for a predicted value of X, we're expecting a salary Right, for a court income of 800,000, the salary that we would predict is somewhere between 7 and 105, between 7,000 and 105,000. So it's a 99% confidence interval, and quite often with a high confidence, you're going to have a wide, wide interval. Um, and so that's what we're looking at. And now let's compare that to what we see here. Find the explained variation. And if you look over here, the explained variation is what's explained by the model. The unexplained is the residual error. Um, and then the indicated prediction interval can be found over here.